Hey, this is YBR with Beaming G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at Honey, I Shrunk the Car 2, which is a sequel to Honey, I Shrunk the Car. We're going to start off by swapping out the pickup for a more powerful pickup, because what I want to do cannot be done with the normal one, so we're going to go with the D15 Off-Roader, which is my go-to pickup when I need a more powerful pickup. And now we're going to go over here to the right, and that right there is actually a road you can drive on. And you can notice, compared to this house, we are unbelievably small. And in fact, if you compare it to the previous Honey I Shrunk the Car map, we are even smaller than before. So that's a road though, and it brings us up to here. We're gonna go real slow on that transition, don't wanna break the suspension too hard. And then we got another road over here, which we're also gonna climb. And that right there really is the reason I need the uh, off-road pickup, because the normal one just does not have the power to make it up these hills like that. Like that one, it's a little bit of a struggle, but it does make it. Normal one, not gonna happen. And then right here, you can either go left or right, and it's basically a track. It's not exactly a track, but you can basically consider it because there's only one detour spot. Otherwise, it's a perfect loop around the place. And it's just really cool to drive on this because you're above the buildings and stuff. And if you wanted to, you could drive off of it into a building, do whatever you want. So you could do something weird like this. And then we're falling off the roof of a building. How far could it be? Very far. And then we got to bring it all the way back up so we can keep driving. And I'll try not to actually fall off on purpose. But every now and then, you know, it's fun to just jump off and watch the damage happen. Right there, that was a little too close to the corner. I could have uh, easily fallen. I was really dumb. And right here, you also have to be careful of this tree. It's a little evil. Like, when you're driving through here, you can hit that tree. Like, right there, I just hit the tree and I broke my wheel axle. That's awesome. That really, really ruins my steering capabilities right there, which is exactly what I wanted. I'm trying to stay on a road with cliffs on both sides. Uh-huh. Hey, I did not see that one coming. We'll just reset it anyways because the steer the uh, wheel axle was broken and the steering was ruined. So we're going to go this way. This is the one detour on the road that I was talking about. We're going to floor it and hit one of those jumps and then we're going to come back for the rest of this road. So flooring it. Jump. Yes, it's got a nice spiral on it. Just like a football. Actually, if I had a football thrown to me like that, I would be complaining. It wasn't a perfect spiral. But it was an okay spiral. Like, if it was your first time throwing a football, that's not bad. Anyways, we'll bring it back up. All the way. Whoops, not enough. There we go. Then we're going to go along the road a little bit more. And go up the road a little bit more, I should be saying. Because, well, there's a real steep area we're coming up to. Do got to slow down these corners, though, even though I want to have some momentum going into this. There we go. It's enough momentum to make it. And once you get up to the top of here, what do you do? Well, you can drive on the edge. <laughs> There's not too much to do, but it's kind of neat that you can drive up here. You can drive on the edge, fall off, crash into the gas station, whatever you want. And then we'll have to uh, reset it all the way back up to there. I mean, it looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Just kind of be like, I'm on top of the gas. So anyways, let's go ahead and head out of here and go back to the track. And we've got to do this a little bit carefully. Don't want to crash just yet. We'll go nice and slow. Making sure we don't fall or tip over. Yes, that was great. That was not so great. Wait, yes, it was. That was still great. <laughs> I thought it wasn't for a second, but then I recovered. All right, can we get up that? Come on, off-road capabilities engage. Good thing we have the off-roader right there. Otherwise, yeah, we probably would have made it up that and we would have been stuck down there. Chenea is going to go back up here to the track. And then finish up our lap. I don't know if I'm going to do any more crashes yet. I have not decided. We'll see if I see something that looks like, oh, I can't not crash into this. I'll crash into it. If I see stuff that doesn't look that appealing, we won't do any more crashes. 100 miles per hour, that's a little fast. Your sense of speed's all screwy here. Everything's so tiny. I mean, you're so tiny compared to everything else. So it's like you don't realize, oh, I'm going 100 miles per hour. I should probably slow down because there's a corner coming up. And also, this road is like the width of probably two roads normally at least. But it doesn't seem like that just again because of how big everything else is. It feels like it's really narrow even though it's not. Weird feeling. Whoa, bouncing a bit. Don't flip on me. Some cubes floating in the air for some reason. Not exactly sure what they're doing, but hello cubes. They're just leaving shadows. That's all. Gotta slow down here because we got that downhill. And then we gotta floor it, floor it, floor it. And we're gonna hit that light pole right there. We're gonna try to hit the light pole. Perfect. That was a perfect hit. I'm so happy with that one. Anyways, bring it back up. 
I'm going to try this corner once again, and i got to make sure I don't go too fast through this because it's deceptively steep right here. you got to be real careful. I mean, deceptively sharp and deceptively sh steep. It's both. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Getting in the air. Getting in the air. Just recover. Slow down. Slow down. I thought I was going to flip. I thought for sure I was going to flip. I can't believe that got saved. Anyways, we are almost done with this road. We're going to go full speed now because there's no way I could possibly make a mistake doing that. Right? Right? Mostly right. There's the finish. So now we're going to go ahead and head off of the upstairs racetrack and go down to the ground level. Which is easier said than done, although I could just go like this. I mean, it's the most violent way down, but it at least get us down there probably, I would think. Yeah, we're down. Upside down, but we're also down on the ground. We'll flip it upright and then good to go. So there is something kind of weird over here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I, I think it's supposed to be like wet cement or something. But when you drive through it, really weird things happen. So right there, you can see there's a little bit of the ground with a different piece of coloring to it. And right there, yeah. That's uh, very strange. And then the tires just pop and they get obliterated as you sit there. It's strange. I don't know really what to make of that. And apparently the tires got popped right there too. Something weird is going on right there. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I don't know if it's intentional or not. And now I gotta drive with all my tires popped. That's great. You can see there are roads that go to the houses. And not necessarily all of them have anything interesting at the end besides a house. It's actually like a regular location. And the most interesting thing is definitely the floating road. We could drive around some of these massive roads for a little bit. Although I'm very, very impatient. And this thing's going way too slow for me. So we're going to just go with the rally version of the Sunburst. Because that thing is... A bit faster than the D-Series pickup that I was driving. And one good way to show you just how much bigger everything else is here compared to the other Honey I Shrunk the car is to go to the gas station because I remember in that video I specifically pointed out my car was as tall as two of the steps leading up to the gas station. And then if we go here and do the same comparison we're gonna be like a quarter of that I would think. So bringing it up we're about as tall as maybe half a step if I had a taller vehicle like I had in the video I did for Honey I Shrunk the Car 1. And just comparing the two, I do like the aesthetics of this one more. The first one is more of kind of like a collection of things, where this one feels more like a town. So it does feel like an improved version of the same idea if you were to compare the two. And it makes sense that this one is the second one and not the first one. Like if this one was worse, I'd be disappointed, but it's actually an improvement, so I'm very happy with that. So anyways, just going to keep driving around for a bit, seeing what we can find. Over here we got this road, which I haven't actually done yet. I don't know. If this car will be able to clear that, we're going to see what happens. It might scrape and get stuck, or it might be able to make it. Let's see. It crashed a little bit, but it made it. So we can go ahead and drive up this road, which is another one of the floating roads. And I think there's only these two. There might be some more. It's kind of hard to look at this map just because of the proportions of everything. It's almost very... Or actually, it is just very easy to accidentally miss things. So you got to really be on the lookout. So here we just have this tube. Not really... Uh, fast enough of a car to make a loop of the tube but we can try it anyways and fail miserably and then fall to the ground and go splat and then bring the car back up because i don't know what's down there and i don't think there's anything really of interest so we go all the way back up and we're gonna back out of here and drive out of here now we can drive out of here the fast way too just because i'm impatient like i said earlier fast way is like this Ooh, i landed on that part i've never done that before well what interesting things can we do from here not much, because I think we're kind of trapped. Like, those lips are pretty tall, so if I try to clear that, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to crash into it. Let's see. Yeah. Couldn't use that as a jump. At least not with that vehicle. But, if we go back to the off-roader, maybe we could use that as a jump. Is that the same blue I used before? Hopefully it is. I want the same blue. So, let's see. Can we clear it now? I'm not exactly certain this will work, but we're going to try it. Go! Awesome! And then we could almost make it yes we can make it to that road then we got to bring the car back a little bit because it fell off the road but we made it that's all i wanted to do and then we could go up this hill and show you what's up the hill now there's not much up here that i can remember it's basically just a bridge this giant but we're gonna look at the giant bridge kind of need to see these little slats how big they look in this situation normally you don't even notice they're there when you're driving on the bridge almost 
Here, well, yeah, you definitely notice them because if you fall off of it or you crash into it, you'll ruin your suspension. So we're going to go 100 plus miles per hour here. Now, that's funny. You're saying I'm going 100 miles per hour here, but if you were like in a normal car, that's the equivalent of going probably like 20 miles per hour. And by normal car, I mean normal proportioned car. You know what I mean, right? If the car was proportional to the rest of this, it'd be like 20 miles per hour. Whoa, up on two wheels. Hold on. No problem. Hey, is that a is that a slope or are those stairs? That's a slope. We can climb up that and crash into it. Now, unfortunately, there's no building in tiers or anything like that. As cool as that would be, all of the buildings are empty on the inside like this one. Nothing in there. It'd be neat, though, if there was insides, because then it'd be a really detailed map, though, and it would probably take much, much longer to actually make it, because then you'd actually have to model the interiors and stuff. On this one, though, you're just using the houses that are already there, just blown up a hundred times bigger or so. Yeah, maybe not a hundred times bigger, but significantly bigger than before. What do we got over here? Come on, steer! Steer! Okay, so I'm back near where I started, if I'm not too mixed up. Real easy to get mixed up here, and there's a, a road over there we could go up. We haven't gone up yet. Actually, it's not a road. It just goes to their house. Never mind, we're not going to go up that. I thought it was like somewhere that went in between things and I missed it. Yeah, I told you, it's kind of easy to miss things here. And I don't know, is that a road? We're going to find out. There's a loop around. We're going to find out. Did I take the wrong path? It looks like it. it. Looks like what I need to do is actually turn there. I thought they would loop around and meet together. Can we go through the bush? Or will the bush crash into us? Oh, yes. Perfect. Sort of. It kind of works to drive through the bush. It's funny. Some of these sticks are tho so thick. I don't know whether or not I could drive into them or not. Because they almost look like trees. Let's just uh, go ahead and say, hey, there's the road. And it would have gone up to a house. I would have been disappointed anyways. Because that's the ones where it's like, well, there's nothing actually there. Over here, we have a big pond. Well, actually, it's a small pond, but it's a big pond compared to my car. We have a church and just the normal buildings you've seen in BMG Drive before. And I think uh, that's pretty much everything of interest, aside from there being a really tiny town, too, for some reason. Like, why is there a tiny town and a big town here? You know, I really do not know. It's not like it's the recreation of the honey, I shrunk the car and then shrunk down or something. It's just a random town. That I don't recognize from anywhere. Unless, is it a model of the town we're in? Wait a minute. Hold on, let's see here. So we got a big building there, and then next to it we got, okay, let's see here. Do we got a big building, and then a, a small building, and then the church all in a line? There's the church. No, it's not a small version of that. It would have been funny if it was, though. Now, we also have a little dock over here, and there's no way to actually get up here, which is kind of funny. Like, you go around this thing, you just have a big steep wall on every direction so how are you supposed to get up there i really don't know uh legitimately but you could always teleport yourself anywhere so you could teleport it up there and then you could drive around on the boats a little bit if you wanted to because there's actually a road that goes across the boat you could even drive into the boat if you wanted to i'm not gonna i'm just gonna drive across it and that'll be it for this video so until next time this has been ybr i'll see ya